That's right, we're back with another review. What's going on everybody? It's the Coffee King here. And we're gonna be getting back into some Minute Men Coffee. This is gonna be the Light Roast Betsy Ross. Cupping notes in this is, it's medium acidity coffee and body, black currant, grape, and nutmeg. Man, I'm super pumped to get into this. It's a light roast coffee. Um, hopefully this coffee is good because I really I really don't drink much light roast coffees. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. This is what it looks like. You guys can see Betsy Ross on the front of there. Anyways, let's open her up. See what she smells like. Oh yeah, you can tell from the beans that it's definitely light roast. Like the color of the roast of the beans. All right. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of a hint of like fruit, like fruitiness. And I think the nutmeg itself. Yeah, that's what I'm smelling. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Before I do, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon once for your boy. Like my videos, comment on them, share them on the other social media platforms. It's greatly appreciated. It keeps me pushing out these reviews for you guys. So let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are. This is part one of the review. I had to take my hat off so you guys could see my whole face, man, because it was like just blacking out like my eyes. You guys really couldn't see it. Or at least I don't think you guys could. But anyways, here we are, part one of the review. This is Mint Men Coffee, Light Roast, Betsy Ross, with no cream, no sugar. Let's jump right into it. And I know the damn coffee cup says Door County. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Wow. Oh. Dude, I'm completely mind blown right now. Mind blown. You guys, this is what light roast is supposed to taste like. And I believe it's because of the black currant that is actually combined with it. It gives it that, you know, that sweeter kind of like mix with the dark roast and light roast but dude this is what a light roast is supposed to taste like it's not it's not too heavy at all it's got a um it does have a medium acidic body to it um i'm getting a call right now toll free just gonna go ahead and decline that anyways like i was saying it's light it don't have no bitterness to it, but you can definitely taste the roast of the coffee. This is completely mind blowing, man. And I, like I said, I believe it's the black currant that is with this. The combination of the black currant and this light roast is giving it that amazing flavor right now. And it goes down super smooth. It's not heavy on the palate like I was telling you guys. Oh my God. It's got like the, um, like I said, the sweetness in it, man. You can taste like the fruitiness from the grape in it as well. But the flavor of the roast of the light roast coffee is phenomenal, dude. And I've said this in every video that I've had of their, of their coffee. It is absolutely phenomenal, man. I could just drink this the way that it is. Right now, I can just drink it the way that it is. If you can drink a cup of black coffee, I mean, I can do that with all their coffees up there because, you know, I love, 
my coffee. I love it, you know, just regular black, and I love it with cream and sugar in it. But I can get down with this just regular black anytime. Oh my God. Guys, for the first time, for the first time in Coffee King history, man, a light roast is getting a hellacious five out of five, man. Hellacious five out of five. Dude, the flavors in this are insane. Insane, man. I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. This is the first time this has happened to me. Minutemen Coffee. You guys are out here killing it, man. You have mastered the light roast coffee. You have mastered all the coffees that I have reviewed from you so far. Keep up the good work. We still got part two to get into. Part one, hellacious five out of five. Let's go. Man. Oh, and by the way, guys, before I jump into part two, um, I got an upgrade on my phone, so my videos will definitely be more crystal clear than what they are now. Way more. It's like 8K recording or something like that. Um, I went with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So... It's going to be a lot better recording. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into part two of the review. This is with Minute Men Coffee, Betsy Ross, one cream, not one cream, one sugar booger, and a little bit of that half and half. You guys already know how we roll. Um, so let's jump right into it. Cheers. Oh, God. <clears throat> Minute Men Coffee, if you see this video, you guys need to get me a mug, man. Get me a mug to review your coffee in. I've seen your mugs, and they are fantastic. They look great. They look awesome. Anyways, um, let me take another taste of this. Guys, for a light roast coffee, man, I would have never thought that I would enjoy this 100%. Adding the cream and sugar to this, of course, it's going to sweeten it up. It's going to lighten it up a little bit. But you still get that amazing flavor. You can still taste that black currant. You can still taste, like, the fruitiness in this. And the nutmeg. This is almost a lighter version of Don't Tread On Me. This is a lighter version of Don't Tread On Me. For anybody out there that... You know, if you if you decide to get the We the People sample pack, and the Don't Tread on Me is a little bit is a little bit too much for you, this is like a lighter roast of that. I think you will enjoy this. All my light roast people out there, you will absolutely enjoy this coffee. I guarantee you you will enjoy this coffee. Betsy Ross Minute Men Coffee. Don't forget that. Um, like I said. It's still got the medium aesthetic to it, the aesthetic um, in the coffee itself. Um, it goes down very smooth still. And for a light roast coffee, the black currant's definitely still coming through and giving it that, just that phenomenal flavor, man. It's sweetened up, it's lightened up. All around, a perfect, a perfect cup of coffee, man. They are out here killing it. You guys are out here killing it, man. Perfect cup of coffee right here. Something that's definitely going to hold you down in the mornings. And, or when you get home. It's going to hold you down. This is what you need after a long, hard day at work. If it's a stressful day, come home and drink you some of this, dude. I'm telling you right now. I think I found my favorite light roast coffee. That's never happened before. Never. I would never sit here and say, light roast coffee is my go-to. But I've found my go-to when it comes to a light roast coffee. Keep killing it out here, men and men. Keep killing it out here. For adding the cream and sugar to this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. 
heavy five out of five. I'm going to stick to it because you guys know what you're doing. You guys know what you are doing and the flavors are just busting out. Anyways, I'm going to jump off of here, finish this cup of coffee, and probably make me another one because that's how good it is. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comments. Hit me with a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit me with a thumbs down. Either way, I'm still going to be busting out these reviews for you guys. Remember to love one another. Be there for one another. Be more positive. Find God and learn to love yourself more. Oh, it's so good! Cause I'll fight for my country till the day that I'm done I still got my God and I still got my gun